This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so uh, Jay Hood recently went on Math Hoffa, and he was talking about his troops, you know, like what happened. And he was very respectful talking about the locks and everything, uh, basically talking about, you know, things that went wrong, just like, don't forget that the locks had problems with uh, Diddy. And, you know, their first album... On Rough Riders, after they left Bad, Bad Boy because they were able to get off Bad Boy because Puffy released them, right? Uh, the whole song, the, there was a lot of songs on that album and skits dissing Puffy, right? And then they went on the Hot uh, 97 and they dissed Puffy and Puffy and them had a big back and forth, right? So they spoke their truth before. They mishandled Jay hood They did. It's just, there's no way around it, you know? And, and I don't think they did it purposely. I think they did it um because they uh they they were worried about their own careers at the moment and didn't focus enough on hood and they were new label owners and you know they were trying their best anyways let's break down styles peter's response and i'll chime in as he speaks about it because i was around during that time i was around and um I remember how uh, all that went down, and it was uh, it was hard to watch because so much happened to Jay Hood at the time that, uh, and they, they it just didn't feel like they were doing the right thing. Uh, and it's not Styles' peaceful. I don't know why he took it upon himself to respond to this, but let's uh, break it down. You know, I usually don't feed into this. The group doesn't feed into this. It's been 20 some long years. First and foremost, math, I'm disappointed in you, bro. In my expert opinion, you didn't ask me anything about Jay Hood. Then you wanna have Jay Hood up there. You could have called me on my line to fact check the shit he was saying. First of all, it's not math's fault. Um, math was being a journalist, okay? Uh, you don't fact check everything. You let them come back up and tell their truth. You let someone speak while you're doing an interview. Um, they challenged Jay Hood at every uh, point, and he talked. You know, and he, they, they even acted like maybe they gave your perspective. You know, it's your perspective, P. And Jay Hood responded to that. And actually, Jay Hood actually apologized for some of the stuff up there. Um, I thought the first response from the locks from that interview would have been an apology for not handling everything right in Jay Hood's career, you know, because Jay Hood has been apologetic for dragging the chain and being disrespectful. But you got to do what you got to do. We all got to do what you got to do when it comes to working and getting business out. But that, my man, was some whack-ass shit. But I get it. Love is love. I still love y'all. still love the show. Get what it is. But next time, you could, you could G-check or fact-check the thing. One, we ain't no clickbait group. Bluch don't owe you no fucking interview. And nobody definitely don't owe Jay Hood no fucking 60 Gs. I'm really disappointed in Jay Hood, to, to be honest with you. Hood has been 20-something years, bro. 20-something years. We never spoke greasy about you. And that's a lie. They did a lot of interviews talking greasy about Jay Hood. Um talking about his disloyalty, talking about his stepdad touching on his butt, you know, putting things out there that weren't right. Jay Hood had a, um, Jay Hood was living off of scraps, okay? They weren't getting him a lot of shows. They weren't paying him for, I was around. I'm not saying they're wrong. I love the locks and I appreciated working with them, okay? Styles P is a great guy. Jada Kiss is cool. Sheik's cool. But they weren't the best label owners. That's just the, bottom line and you know after telling somebody to leave universal situation because uh she wanted to leave and he left being loyal signing to Koch, being loyal not getting his money right away from Koch. i remember that um and they pieced him out slowly after that i remember him complaining about that and them having it reasons for that it's because they were using the budget for other things um, then when the, the, the sad part is when his house burned down, it was on the news. Um, I remember them not even giving him any money really in him kind of like trying to figure things out on his own. Uh, and you know, that was horrible. Um, 
I do remember him telling me about the 60 grand, like they took 60 grand out of his budget. And then that's when he really lost his mind, you know, because he felt betrayed. He should have brought it up though right away and had a sit down with Koch and Alan Grumbach because that's the person who told him that. That's who a style should be mad at. Koch telling Jay Hood that if that's not true and show it's not true. It's very easy to show the accounting of that, that 60 grand being missing. Um, and not putting an album out for Jay Hood for four years and him telling people is embarrassing, you know, for him. You know, imagine being an artist and your just album's not coming out. It's embarrassing. A lot of people leave and a lot of people complain about major labels because of that situation. And here he was on an independent label and still having that situation. After you did your bullshit, you did your sucker shit, nobody never said anything wrong about you at no time. Actually, I spent three After you did that bullshit, I spent about three years of my life protecting your ass. Now, Jay Hood was wrong for dragging the D blockchain, and he knows that. And he's apologized for that. Uh, Styles and them protected Hood most likely because they knew that they kind of mishandled his career and they kind of knew what got him to that point because they've been at a point like that with Puff where they had to get very disrespectful. But, hey, let's keep going with this. When people wanted to touch you and harm you in places and call me and had to drop on you, leave that man alone. God bless him. You know what I'm saying? But here it is 20 years later, Luke's been in your house to fight your father for you before. Niggas gave your mother money when your house burned down. That didn't happen. We actually made you into the artist you are. Loose. That's true. You know, they probably, they did help develop Jay Hood into the RCS, but they didn't write his rhymes and everything. He did put work in as well. Um, Cause you know, Puffy could say, oh, I gave you guys the name, the locks. Um, and I gave you guys, um, artist development you know puff could say he developed the locks he could but he didn't write the rhymes they were they're nice the locks is nice um and that's why everyone kind of rode with them to the next level and that's why people were so loyal to them you know but i can you know i can love the locks and i can love everything all those moments but i can also admit that eh, they could have done the Jay Hood thing differently, and I think that I wish that they could just admit that and then move forward. Um, but anyways, let's let's listen more. To argue with Flex to play your shit and do this, but your old 60 G's, the label didn't even really want to fuck with you, but your old 60 G's, and the sucker shit about it, why I ain't even say you know you ain't no 60 G's because you tried to fucking sue us. You went to the lawyers. You tried. I'm pretty sure he didn't because uh, that would have been big news. He, did, he didn't go to the lawyers, I don't think. And um, you can show, he could show proof of that. And they blackballed him after he left. And he tried to leave peacefully, but they wouldn't let him go, even though Styles P, uh, to his credit, I remember J Hood told me he's leaving D Block. And I said, Are they going to let you leave? And he said, Yeah, Styles said he's going to handle it and it never got handled. So that's probably when he felt stuck, like he was in, his career was in jail at that time, you know? And I get Styles P responding this way because he's trying to protect, he's trying to protect um, Sheik and them. Jadakiss didn't really have anything to do with this. You see Jadakiss has his own label now, so raspy, he's kind of separate from all that he's just part of the locks you know because they're brothers forever but he has his own music ventures separately to us, you tried to see that we had your publishing to see that we didn't have your publishing and your publishing was there and then i bet you never told the people there that i told you hey, whatever you want to do however you feeling god bless you i'll make sure it's okay we'll fix whatever you what needs to be fixed how it needs to be fixed but you still went and did that sucker shit you did. So, the niggas never wanted to fuck with you. 
So he did mention that in that interview um, that they Styles P was trying to get it fixed, but so much time passed that he was like, I guess they're never going to let me go. And that's true. Like, you know, sometimes people will tell you they're going to do something and like, you know, it's almost like that person that owes you $20. And they're like, yo, I got you next week. Got you next week. And then after like six months, you're like, yo, I'm going to, this guy's crazy. He's never going to pay me my, my, my $20, you know? Um, anyways, let's keep going. 20 years down the line, you are still bitter and using our name for attention. Why didn't you make successful albums in them 20 years or do something with your time successful? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, it's called blackballing. <laughs> it's like, uh, do you think Flex, K Slay, Clue, Envy, anybody were going to put Clue, uh, put J Hood on tapes? Do you think any DVDs were going to mess with Hood? Unless he was talking about the problems with Debug. He couldn't even sign to another label because they still had him under contract. So, yeah, that's why he couldn't do anything and you know i'm gonna tell you jay hood with big mike and everything like he was really in demand early 2000 like 2003 or 4 to like 07 08 he was in demand you know like for a four-year gap super in demand you know i would even say like 0203 all the way up to like 07 08 he was in demand and when the you know the split happened and also disappointment of the album never coming out um things went left you know d block never put out another artist after j hood also don't forget that and also a lot of artists left uh, a lot of engineers left you know a, a lot j hood's not the only person that had problems um it does not to say that styles is a bad person Sheik's a bad person or jd is a bad person it just wasn't a label it was more of a movement you know and that's what it should have been called not a label it should always been called a movement with an imprint like yo you use the imprint and get your money you know what i mean and just make sure you give us our peace because they were building a great movement but not a label that's all i'm saying that is on you my brother you not you're not part of d block because you ain't cut from the cloth we cut from we would never turn around because we ain't happy. Or the niggas who took care of you, you feel old more that you never gave shit to, that gave you your name, your look, your, 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 your fucking everything, and you wanted more looking at other people than you. Uh, they did do that. They did that with Diddy and Bad Boy. They felt like they were being treat mistreated and they wanted off the label. And they put him on blast on the next album and in interviews. And we all remember that infamous Hot 97 interview. So he can't say that they're cut from a different cloth and wouldn't have done what he did when they did do what he did. Puffy put a lot of money into artist development with them and built them up to be able, even be able to move on and have a successful career. And he let him go. So I don't know. You didn't get it, so you decided to flip. You ain't like us, so that's why it didn't work. But I'm offended that you didn't just go up there and actually fucking apologize. But they never apologized to him. And I think he did apologize for certain stuff, like the chain dragging and everything. I don't know why you didn't just apologize. And when, how, how the fuck are you a co-founder of D-Block? Are you fucking kidding me? I love you. I wish you the best. God bless you. Well, in a sense, I, I, I could I could see where Styles is saying that, but he was their first artist. And there would be no D block if there wasn't a J Hood artist at the time, because they would just be the locks. Why would there be a D block? You need an artist, <laughs> right? Keep doing what you're doing, but keep our fucking name out your mouth, man. Keep our name out your mouth and anybody. You speak on our name with respect. We showed you niggas what loyalty is, what honor is. I don't care about clickbaits. I don't care about interviews. Do your shit and get it right. Jay Hood is not the block because when he got did the sucker shit, he didn't have discipline, dedication, and determination. So, boom, that's all it is. But damn, Hood, you should have apologized as a grown man 20 years later and just left it at that. But no, here we go. Nobody owes you a damn thing. 
and stop lying on people's names. Like, I've never addressed this shit in all these years. Always say, God bless you. Keep it moving. But damn, bro, 20 years later, you still... Come on, man. What's up, bro? What's up with you? 20 years later? Are you kidding me? 20 years later, you don't got nothing better to talk about? We never spoke on you bad. Never said anything ill about you. Never been on any radio station, anywhere, TV, and said one damn thing about you. You dragged the chain on the floor. You ran around. You, you, you was trying to be with 50 and them. G unit didn't take you after neither. You flipped because you thought they was going to take you. That shit backfired on you. He couldn't go there because he was signed to D-Block still. And, you know, it was a weird move. And I think he has apologized for that, too. But, you know, when you have, feel like you've just you're young, you're in your 20s and um, you feel like you were just backstabbed by your quote unquote brothers, you're going to do some crazy stuff. See, you're not saying everything that happened. And I don't want to bother to say it because it's fucking 20 years ago. And who gives a fuck? Move on with your life. But you ain't going to lie and say somebody robbed you for something they didn't rob you for. When niggas did nothing but years of taking care of you. Did you ever get charged for a studio fucking session ever? Did anybody ever ask you for a receipt or money back or do anything? Well, I'm sure the studio stuff came out of the universal, the first universal budget and the Koch budget. Because they had their own studio and I don't know how much poops was making, but you know. I don't think the studio cost that much. It was in a warehouse. When niggas bought you gear, clothes, sneakers, helped your mom pay the rent, did any? I remember that he would get Jada Kiss's hand-me-down clothes um, because I always asked him, Yo, why are your clothes like kind of big? He was like, oh, you know, Jada Kiss just gives me like his old clothes sometimes, you know? Like sometimes you will go get clothes, but like, he was getting hand-me-down clothes. Look at that right there. That jacket's too big. It's way too big for him right there. Come on. I mean, ever give you a fucking, like every other fucking record company an invoice? No. Relax, buddy, and keep it G. And just as far as this clickbait shit comes, man, stay honorable or, or don't. But don't, don't try to use us for clickbait. That shit ain't fly, man. That shit ain't fly and it ain't cool. I'm fresh out the gym, and I, 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 I'm on my fifth post seeing you live, and I'm tired now. Now I'm fucking tired. It's been 20 some years, and you want to use that shit to stay alive? Nah, buddy. Stay up. God bless you. Wish you the best. Do something else with your time, man. Do something else convenient, constructive, and self-helpful to yourself. Please. Very messy situation. Uh, love Jada Kiss, love Styles P, love Sheik. Jada's a good guy, man. You know, it's just, um, it's unfortunate that nobody can, I, it's, it's unfortunate that they can't really take accountability as well. Uh, that's all, you know, I still, I, I love those guys, man. I love, I love the locks loved all the work we did together they're amazing guys man styles p is a real stand-up guy jada kiss is super cool chic super cool you know um but i just wish they would take a little bit of accountability here because we all make mistakes i've made mistakes in my life we've all made mistakes i wish they could just you know i think that jay hood and they should sit down and talk. That was the whole reason they did the breakdown before. You know, I, I was stressing that the locks and Jay and, and Jay Hood just really need to sit down and hash it out and just be cool, move on. You know, that's why this never ended. You know, they've had sit downs and stuff in the past, but never really talked about everything. You know, and just I think that has to happen publicly now at this point. When you know Styles and Jay to, and Jay Hood or something should just have a live, because you know then it's public and it's out and it's done. It's done, you know. Like he did. I didn't think he was too disrespectful in that interview, man. He was just telling his truth. He always gave him respect, and he said, "I respect them for um, the opportunity, building me up." 
but they ripped it all away from me, you know, and and and, and they they didn't do anything with me. So I just I never was never really able to make my own money and do that. I didn't get the same opportunities a lot of other artists got. I think Hellrell got more opportunities in in the the, the, the no J Hood wouldn't. He wasn't the he wasn't the jewels of the situation. He was, you know, I mean, like I it's just. Is a little sad. I'm gonna be honest. They, they should, if they were gonna let him go, they should let him go and say, "Hey, I know you're upset. I'll let you go, and we'll let you use the imprint still, and let's just keep it." People don't think like that because of ego, but that probably would have the best way to go forward. Is like, "Hey, let's just separate. Let you get a deal somewhere else, you know, and we'll support you still." And then they could have kept everything quiet, cause like some stuff was mishandled. But anyways, I just wanted to react to that, cause uh, I think this is a very messy situation, and I really want them all to work it out, cause they were really. I mean, the locks is still the locks, but it was so sad what happened with everything else, you know. Anyways, love these guys. Hope they're doing, you know. Styles P's doing amazing things with the juice bar and everything. Love it. Jada Kiss is doing stuff with Millie's. Love that. Sheik Luch is doing his thing. J Hood's doing what you gotta do, you know? And and you know, people do interviews and they spoke their truth about Puff and everything. And J Hood's just speaking about his experience because people were wondering what happened. Like J Hood had such a buzz. You know, what happened? You know? Why did it go left? And there's a reason behind it. That's all. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.